own. He said, don't worry about what you eat or what you wear or what you put on. He said, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness that all the other things. Listen, anything that has been harassing you,
talking to you about. Listen, a man who has never seen God can never tell you about God. You see, what you are experiencing, you can tell people about. I have experienced God. Hallelujah. The Father has seen Jesus physically, but I have seen God. Paul said that I may know Him. Listen. There's nothing that is bigger than God. Amen. Your problem is too small. Amen. Your challenges are too small. Amen. Every challenge is a stepping stone. Amen. Are you know? Are you what I'm saying? Amen. Don't worry about your tomorrow. Amen. Your tomorrow is set already. Amen. If God can show you your tomorrow, you will never win. If God can show what has made you to become in three years to come. Amen. You see, what you see is what you see. What you see. No, maybe, maybe you've never stayed about the wilderness before or the desert before. For 40 years they were on the desert. The question that you have to ask you, when did they get food for 40 years? And the Bible says during that period, he sent manna. Yes. Yes. For 40 years in the wilderness. When they get to a place, they are looking for water. He said, Moses, stop to the rock. Amen. And Moses strike the rock and water came out. Anybody who has passed through the desert before, they will tell you, say, has all those who passed through the desert to go to Libya or Italy? I, 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 I want the story about people who walked through the desert. Brothers and sisters, he felt there's one man that was being interviewed. When the man was there, I wanted to cry for the man. I, I mean, the death of Jesus. So I, I was marching over 300 million people for 40 years. God was provided. No, have you ever, listen, the rent is not a problem. Yeah, man. 300 million people. And any time they cry for manna, manna will just fall from heaven. For 40 years. Oh, come on. This got too much. Amen. And now they go to a place, they said they are tired of manna. Ha! They said they want to eat meat. Amen. Then Moses went to the Lord. He said, The people are crying for meat. He said, Go and tell them, I will give them meat. Amen. And Moses said, Talking about the 200 million people needs. So Moses, go and tell them today. I will give them needs. And do you know what the Lord says to Moses? Said, Moses, my hand is not too short to see. <laughs> Jehovah El Shaddai, the multi breasted one. He said, Today you eat meat. Where are you going to get meat? In a, in a desert place. Where are you going to get the gold, the sheep? But this God is too much. You know what God did? Moses said, um, he said Gather yourself together. God is going to bring me now. And the Bible says, a wind blew. The wind of the Lord went everywhere and brought bears in the thousands. And they landed in the camps of the Israelites. The Bible says, they asked somebody that 
the meat was coming from their nostrils. What they asked, God gave them more. When they saw this, now it's a Moses. We are afraid to talk to these gods. Why are you worried about your life? Why are you worried about your house?